Hey everybody, Lexanda Swirl here. We are going to try something a little different today. If it doesn't work, this video will never see the light of day on YouTube. So if you're watching it, that means I got something resembling what I was hoping for, or something at least interesting enough to show you. I was recently watching um, a tutorial on Miss Kiss Creations channel, and if you're interested in Tumblr making, you really, really, really need to watch her channel if you don't already. I will link to her channel below and specifically the, um, the video where she uses this particular paint set from Arteza. This is the 10 Acrylic Colors Premium Paint in Iridescence. And she got a, a really gorgeous cup. Well, she got two gorgeous cups, but the one where she made the cup using this paint set, it was just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm not doing the same technique she did. So you should go watch that video to see what she did because that's cool and I may try that later. But I wanted to use the same color she did and do something a little different with them. So we are going to use the following colors from this set. Electric Plum Purple, Shocking Lime Green, Fairy Tale Blue, Glowing Peach, and Playful Pink, which, as you can see, actually looks white, but I believe, again, since these are all iridescents, that it's a color shifter. And I will put the rest of these aside for now. I do not have a discount code for Arteza products, but if you go to her video, like I said, I'll link it below, and look in her description underneath her video, I believe she does have a discount code for Arteza products, so you should check that out, too. Um, I will list a different link to Arteza that you can also buy on Amazon if you'd prefer to do that. Um, so I have taken one of these great 20 ounce twist tumblers from Stainless Steel Depot. So we have this cup. I cleaned it with alcohol. I spray painted it black, a couple layers there, and we are going to paint onto it. This is, this is my idea for using... And it's not, it's not like I'm the first person in the world who took a paintbrush and put acrylic paint on a tumbler. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I just want to use these paints on this tumbler in a way that I have envisioned in my mind. And I'm hoping it works out. Like I say, if it does, or we get something equally interesting than what I'm envisioning, then you'll be watching this video. If it turns into a big hot mess, then you will never see this or hear me talk or any of that on this video. <laughs> I do post my fails sometimes, but you know, even I have my limits. So I have my tumbler. I have a couple of paint brushes in different widths, depending on how this goes and what I think I want to do. I am using, this is a leftover overflow resin coaster that is a little too overflowed, so I'm never going to use it for anything. And I don't want to just throw things away, so it becomes sort of a paint palette. Um, I have, yeah, no particular order. It's sort of like when I pour paint. This is not pouring paint. This is going to be painting. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start doing this and see how it goes. If it if it goes badly, I'll abandon the idea. If it goes well, we'll just keep going. <laughs> I'm afraid to start. The worst thing that happens, or the worst thing that can happen, is that I give up on the whole idea, right? I really spooshed out too much paint. I don't need that much. These are only two ounce bottles. The Arteza way of doing things is to give you a lot in tiny, tiny increments, which has always kind of annoyed me. <laughs> I don't know why. I guess that's a paint pouring thing. Yeah. 
I need an extra arm. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens next. Slightly smaller brush. And we'll do about the same thing, except I wanna try and do it with the twist. I have not been able to go with the twist yet on my other cups. I've tried and it has not worked out well. <laughs> For some reason, the twist escapes me. I'm gonna try again. All right, I'm gonna let this dry. I mean, it's, it's kind of cool, but at the same time, I'm gonna try going to a smaller brush after these have dried so I'm not just brushing the liquid around like I am now. We'll see if I can get a little more definition on the second layer. Stay tuned. And we're back. Okay, I've given this some time to, it's not completely dry. Uh, from the looks of it, but it's it's getting there. And it looks like, now that I review everything, that we have lost our blue. And so I'm going to concentrate, I have a much finer point brush this time, and I'm going to redo the middle bit. Not redo it, I'm gonna hopefully accentuate it or or embellish it or however you wanna say that. I don't know. I hope I'm going to I still am not sure what exactly I'm going for. I know you're probably thrilled to hear that after all this. I appreciate you watching. I do. Sometimes my ideas work out. Sometimes they really, really don't. kind of sort of along the lines of the hatching. I'm 
video I did a while back where I, I was kind of disappointed in the outcome. I have uh, at the advice of um, a wonderful subscriber who lo loves to help me out with <laughs> problems I'm having and leaves great information in the comments section. So if you check out that video, I'll link to it below, and you read her description, or I'm sorry, and you read her comment, uh, she has a recommendation about equipment. So I got some of the sticks she recommended. I just haven't gotten back to trying that particular hatching method on the tumblers again. I will be doing it one of these days, but I haven't gotten to it yet. So the next step after this completely dries is I will seal it with a Rust-Oleum 2X clear spray, probably in matte, uh, to give the resin something to hold on to, just like I always say. <laughs> and um, I will resin over it, and that resin will include um, my Marabou Rainbow Sparkle Additive that I always, or almost always put in. I don't always, but I would 95% of the time I add it in because I like the extra sparkle it adds without having to get all glittery. Sorry, I should probably do this in frame. I'm gonna put this aside to dry. We'll come back and see what happens next. Stay tuned. And we're back. So here is what we have so far. We have my painted cup and it has a layer of epoxy over it and the epoxy resin contained some Marabou alcohol ink in rainbow sparkles. So it's extra sparkly, it's nice and shiny and smooth and it is now time for me to apply decals. I really struggled with this. I really wasn't sure. Nothing about this cup screamed a certain theme to me necessarily. So I decided to back up to last month and go Halloween or witch. I still want to do something with the twist factor in the middle. So what I finally came up with, <laughs> we'll see how this turns out. What I finally came up with was to go into my clip art, my SVG cut files, and I found some cool different witches hats, and I found some flying witches, and I found a bunch of broomsticks, which I don't have printed out on my reference sheet because they're all cut individually, so I will be placing them individually, but here's one. Here's one that I weeded and I have the transfer tape on just to show you what I'm gonna do. So in, in essence, I'm gonna have the hats down here. I'm gonna have the broomsticks going with the twist in the middle. And then up here, I'm gonna have all my different, whoops, all my different flying witches. Now it won't correspond, these will all go around the top, these witches. It won't correspond perfectly. There won't be like, this, originally I wanted a hat, a broomstick, and a matching flying witch up top. But I don't have that specific a file of graphics and I am not interested in spending the time to try and make the flying witches myself. I just went with ones I already had. So they're gonna be, let's see, there will be five hats around the bottom. This fits perfectly, so I've, I've got my, my vinyl ready to go as one strip that fits around the bottom of the cup perfectly. And then I'm going to be placing the uh, broomsticks individually, one in each of the twist areas, twist grooves. So there will be eight of those, and they will all go in that direction. And then I have, let's see, six witches across around the top. I am going to place them individually. So I have, uh, this is a smaller reference. I have the witches in the right size, and I will be 
using the reference to place them individually around the cup. So enough talking. You're going to watch me do a couple of these and then I'm just going to go ahead and either fast forward or probably do it off camera because, you know, if you see me place a couple things and pull them off and rip them up in frustration, you've seen it all, right? So here we go. I will start with the broomstick in the middle. I've already got the tape on, so let's see if this will just come off. Yes, okay, that's the broomstick should be relatively easy, I hope. And then I'm going to pick the middle of a twist, groove, and just place that in there, press it on, and then peel off the transfer tape, like that. So there's one down, gazillion to go. Let's do a witch. She's gonna go up here. So I've already weeded, I've already got the transfer tape on. Let me burnish once here on the back. I have all my, whoop, gosh. I have all my other witches here. I haven't weeded them yet. Like I say, I just wanted to show you an example before I go ahead and do it all, or almost all of it off camera. Okay, she goes up here like that. Press down nice and flat and then peel off her tape. Okay, so there we have a couple pieces in place and now, the question is, do I want to try the hats with you watching or not? <laughs> if you want to see a really, really, really funny video with me trying to do weeding on camera, uh, check out my, let's see, what did I call it? My Grinch cup, my Grinch Christmas cup video, because that one did not go well at all. I ended up scrapping the entire video, or the entire idea of cut vinyl and I went with printable vinyl instead. Uh, it, was, it was just a disaster of weeding epic proportions or epic weeding proportions. So the problem here is that this, like most tumblers, has a taper. So if I do the wrap around, I'm gonna end up with hats that are all askew, even more so than some of these hats, which is why I printed out a reference for myself in case I need to cut these apart and do them singularly. So I may just, I may do a couple at a time. Let's do a couple. We can at least get this started on camera. Okay. We should be able to handle two, right? <laughs> she says, hopefully. Come on. There we go, burnish. Peel it off. Whoop, peel it off. Stay there. And this will be down in this portion. We want the vinyl. We don't care about the transfer tape wrinkles, but we want the vinyl to be flat and no wrinkles and no boobas. No boobas, please. There we go. And we can take that off and do two at a time more. That seems to work pretty well all the way around. All right, so I've got it started. You get the idea. I will bring you back when I've finished, and then I will bring you back at the end for the big reveal. All righty, the weeding gave me a little trouble, but I got everybody on where I wanted them to go. So let's take a quick look here, and then it will be time for two layers of matte spray to seal everything on. And, um, then a coat of epoxy resin with rainbow sparkles in it. So I will bring you back for the big reveal, folks. Stay tuned. And we're back. It's done. Look at that. Look at how beautiful and sparkly it is. All my witches are flying. I decided a subtitle for this video is going to be Fly Witch Fly or something along those lines. I think this is really cool looking. Uh, another idea on this cup would have been to put silhouettes of trees down here and then, oh, the moon and some stars up here and have it be like a Milky Way tumbler. 
I could have done that, I didn't. This was what I chose to do, but there are lots of other options. If anybody has any suggestions for something else to do theme-wise with a cup like this, let me know in the comments below. I love how this turned out. This makes me so happy. I love it. Thanks, everybody. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next video.